This is the 2002 Emerald Stiletto Powerboat, brought to you by Skippers Marine. The Stiletto is a pseudo bow rider. Uh, it's got a central cuddy, so basically you have a compartment in the rear, a uh, four to five passenger compartment, and then a small cuddy cabin in the center, and then an open bow section in the middle. Uh, you can access this either through an actual cushion that lifts up, or you can go straight over the glass, which is designed to be walked over with some steps and some anti-skid. It's rather a unique system. Uh, keeps the passengers well hidden from any uh, rain or high wind or anything like that while still allowing a bow rider feel and uh, seating capacity. It's quite a unique setup and uh, quite nice actually. As you can undoubtedly tell by the rakish lines and graphics, this is a go fast boat. Uh, top speed on her is about 60 miles an hour. Uh, you can prop her up to about 62, 63. Uh, right now she's got a 19 pitch prop on her for all around general purpose use. Uh, it also comes with two extra props, one a torque prop and one a high speed prop in case you want to change the configurations. On the rear of the boat in the transom you can of course see the Bravo 1 assembly. The Bravo 1 is the single prop Mercruiser outdrive uh, that is the high end unit. It's got much thicker and stronger components than the Alpha outdrive, a little longer lasting and a much better kind of transmission system. Uh, you'll notice it also has the, uh, the Rex Cool system which basically keeps the drive nice and cool under high performance conditions. Uh, you also see the through hull exhaust. This boat has the option with a captain's choice button on the dash of through-hull exhaust, which is actually the Corsa high-performance version, or you can have the standard through-prop exhaust. The rear of the boat's nicely laid out with, of course, a ski tow line, uh, blower holes for ventilation. Uh, it also has a remote control, as well as a little pop-up swim step with a handle, making it easy to get on and back. Uh, unlike a lot of power boats, this actually does have a small modicum of a swim step, so it is fairly easy to get on this boat as opposed to some others that have a pure flat. Back. Going on the inside, you have a nice big pad in the back for sun lounging and laying out, which is quite comfortable. Uh, and then going even further, of course, you've got your standard bench seat in the back, which can hold two to four people depending on how friendly you are. And then in the front, you've got two captain seats with the pop down bollards. So when you're going at high speeds, the bottom of the seat can hydraulically drop out and uh, actually give you a little more standing room while holding you in place, which is a pretty neat feature. Of course, there are tons of trim accents on this boat, and nowhere is this more apparent than on the helm. Uh, you've got this nice anodized blue backing to all your gauges. So all the gauges were replaced in 07, so they're all fairly new. Gauge complement, you've got a voltmeter, oil pressure, uh, excuse me, oil temperature, uh, trim gauge, mile per hour gauge, RPM, temperature, fuel. You've got your exhaust button up here. And then you've got your normal complement of buttons down here, horn, accessory, nav lights, courtesy lights, cabin lights, bilge, blower, and stereo. You also have your engine hour meter located down here, and as you can see, it has very low hours on it, 95.7. You've also got a ship-to-shore radio and a small compartment below for um, important documents and whatnot. On the helm also, you have your high-end shifter system, uh, in and out of drive, as well as your throttle, and the trim is actually located on the throttle button. And then, of course, you've got a very nice uh, steering wheel with uh, a tilt function on it. As additional accessories, you've got a Lowrance LMS 520C chart plotter and built-in GPS. And then, of course, your stereo. You've got a Sony uh, MP3 capable uh, with, it looks like, four cockpit speakers. The speakers themselves are covered with this uh, brushed aluminum facing, which is kind of a nice touch. And then, like I said, pretty much everything on here has a nice trim to it. So you've got anodized blue behind all your handles and all your grab bars. As a correction, the seats are not hydraulically actuated, they are push button actuated. So press a button and the bottom of the seat drops down, allowing you to stand up under high speed conditions and uh, have a nice comfortable high back standing position while maintaining uh, distance from the wheel. Cuddy wise, you have access from both sides, which is an interesting system. You walk straight through in this area and then you've got a lounge seat over here as well as a lounge seat over there. Uh, and then you have a walkthrough area straight to your bow cushion. This cushion opens up and allows you to go straight through. Uh, you've got some storage on both sides, which is nice. And uh, you technically could indeed pop in a cushion in the middle and make this a sleeping space. Uh, there are, of course, cup holders. Uh, this is quite a roomy little space, uh, much bigger than it looks from the outside. And then, of course, you can also access by walking up these steps right on the side and going straight over. So if we go right here, we'll go straight over the windshield and straight to the bow area. Now the bow seats comfortably three to four. Uh, you've got grab handles on each side. And then of course, same thing. You've got speakers in the front. Uh, you've got anodized pop-up cleats, etc. And then the interesting thing about this one is of course the pop-up. 
So turn around and you've got your normal seats and lift that up and it goes straight into that cutting section. So kind of an interesting way to get to it. Uh, you can get through it from both sides. You can stay out of the weather, have a nice little picnic spot, or even stay overnight. Under the engine hatch, you've got the Mercruiser 6.2 MPI, which is a 320 horse engine. It's of course got the Corsa Performance exhaust with the captain's choice push button hydraulic. And then it does indeed have a dual battery system and a nice little fuse block over here. So you've got plenty of space inside of here, which is nice. You can add extra storage. Personally, I'd recommend putting a box in here if you're going to make storage space. You'd hate to have anything fall into the motor. Uh, but there is more than adequate storage space back here. The engine itself is very clean, as to be expected with such a low hour engine. Uh, and the 320 horse pushes this thing out, like I said, to about 60 miles an hour. As to be expected from any powerboat, it is a long, thin, and very high gunnel powerboat. Uh, which means it's going to handle very well. It's going to take rough seas just fine. Uh, it's going to turn amazingly. It'll track and heel over very, very easily. Uh, when going at a very slow speed, especially in the marina, this can be daunting. But this high, easy turning makes high performance much more feasible. The boat has pop-up cleats in the rear, as well as a single pop-up cleat in the front, and pop-up cleats in the middle. The boat comes with two covers, a tonneau cover that covers the rear, and it covers the front. Uh, the boat is on a very nice aluminum tandem axle trailer, and there's also a spare tire, matching spare tire, that comes with the trailer. So there you have it, the very attractive, high-power 2002 Emerald Stiletto Powerboat, brought to you by Skipper's Marine. This one is a fun one, folks. I personally have taken a Nashville trip in this boat, and I can tell you right now, it sounds beautiful, and it rides beautifully. So act fast, this one will not stick around.